Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and as many of you know, um, as a part of my reviews when collecting audio, at some point I switched to using a lavalier mic um, clipped on rather than trying to capture audio with either a some kind of other mic, and of course, most notably not with the on-camera mic. I tend to uh, move out into the outdoor environment sometimes when shooting as a part of my reviews and capturing sound that way. And then my primary space that I use for a studio has a lot of hard surfaces and, um, you know, hardwood floor and um, reasonably bare walls. And so as a result, there is more echo than what is best for recording um, audio. And during the period where I had some issues with my usual lavalier mic, which is the Rode SmartLav Plus, and um, I had had some issues with the cord shorting, and so I got great service, got that sent in, and they replaced it for me very, very quickly, about a 72-hour turnaround. But uh, over the time where I was not quite realizing what the issue was yet, I had a few episodes where I had to revert to some other kind of a microphone to record, and I got a lot, I mean a lot, of negative feedback from people during that time that really missed the kind of sound that can come from uh, having the lavalier mic. Because it stays close to you, it minimizes a lot of the reverberations and, of course, um, external noise that you really can't avoid hardly with any um, other kind of microphone system. So what I'm going to do today is that while I'm, I'm very happy with the SmartLav Plus and uh, continue to use it, um, I, there's a, another company that has an inexpensive alternative for those of you that would like to use a lavalier mic but um, aren't willing to uh, spend the money that it costs to get the road. There's a company called B Audio, and they have a lavalier mic of their own, which they call the Crystal Clip, and it's what I'm using right now. So in this segment, I'm going to just quickly look at how the sound compares to my typical standard of the road, and, and so we'll give you a look at, or a listen really, to the way that it sounds through this microphone, the way that it sounds through the road. And then, of course, the way that it sounds capturing just the audio from the camera, which in this case is a, a Canon 80D that's pointed at me from about nine feet away. Now, the one thing to know with any time that you're using a lavalier mic like this is that the audio is typically going to be recorded separately from the video. And of course, that means that there's no tether, so the, the plus side is that you can be any, really, any distance away from the camera, and it's not going to affect your audio um, quality or volume in that way. But, um, the, of course, the downside is you have to sync the audio and the video in post, which these days is very, very simple, um, and it's automated by the software that I use, and so it's not really an issue. Um, but I typically record to either an iPhone, in this case I'm using an iPhone, I, or iPod Touch. I typically use the Rode Rec software for my recording, but you can use any kind of other app that you want. Um, and neither microphone includes the app. In the case of the Rode, I actually had to pay a separate fee to purchase the Rode app, which it wasn't a big fee. but. Um, and so, of course, I'm continuing to use it with both, pro both programs. B Audio is not connected with any kind of specific app. You just choose which one that you want. And so you've been listening to me now um, using the, the Crystal Clip microphone. So we're going to take a moment here and uh, we're going to switch over. So I'm in the middle of uh, setting up a, a new recording here, and uh, and so I one thing I did want to note is that in the meantime, while we're setting this up, I wanted to give you a few seconds of what the camera audio sounds like, and and so now we're going to switch to the road. I will note that trying to set it up in identical positions, I usually point the lav mic down. It's recommended by Rode and so that you get a more consistent sound because as you move around, you may move closer or further away from the microphone pointed down. It tends to eliminate some of the sounds that you, you make as a part of speaking and gives you a little more consistent sound. Set up in that situation, I need to set my, my gain a little bit lower for the Rode so it has a little bit more sensitivity than uh, what the Crystal Clip does. But now let's switch to the road and see how the audio sounds now. 
So now using the Rode um, microphone, this is the Smart Lav Plus for recording, and uh, and I'll throw a link to both of these down below, both the Crystal Clip and the Smart Lav, if you'd like to do a little bit of shopping in comparison. But this gives you a, a bit of an idea of how the sound compares between the two of them. And so if you're on a budget, you can get the Crystal Clip for around $30 compared to the more like $90 that it's going to cost you for the Rode Smart Lav. And um, it's both of them, you know, really do the job. And so if you're on a budget, but you want to do uh, kind of up your recording level, perhaps for interviews, or maybe if you're starting a channel of your own, um, it might be worth looking at either one of these. I'm Dustin Abbott, and if you haven't already, you can follow me on social media down below or click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.